Hey, Cancer Collective, this is going to be your love forecast for the weekend for the 13th through the 15th. We're going to see what's happening for you guys in love, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What's happening for my Cancer Collective in love? spy came out so it looks like someone's spying on you someone is trying to get more information it looks like someone is wanting to know whether or not you are single or if you have moved on spirit is saying um let go spirit is saying it's time for you to let go and make room in your life for the new things that are trying to come in some of you guys are holding on to a past connection that spirit is really urging you to let go of um they can't bring in the new until the old has been completely uh, done away with. Show me more. Um, date night. Someone wants to invite you out and take you out on a date. They want to wine and dine you. Spirit is saying, um, what I'm getting is a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces who may be interested in um, reaching out to you and extending this offer of a uh, date. Um, if you don't know who this person is, you may um, have met them recently, or it may be someone from your past. Mercury retrograde is the time in which they're going to be reaching out to you. And someone wants to take you on a vacation as well. If you don't know who this person is, then you will uh, know soon because it looks like they're going to be reaching out to you soon with regard to this. Um, show me more for my uh, Cancer Collective in love for the weekend. What's going on for them? Show me more. What else is in their energy? Um, memory. Someone is nostalgic about you. Someone is feeling that they have missed an opportunity or that they made a very bad mistake in uh, leaving you. They're pretty much stuck in the past, seeing this as a missed opportunity, but wanting to come in and make right on this um, situation that they have with you. Also work. Spirit is saying a lot of you guys are focused on work. Um, you're not even paying this person attention and nor are you even aware that this person is um, feeling the way that they're feeling. Some of you guys may have felt like, well, the situation ended or, you know, it was just a brief encounter. It really wasn't anything. Well, you have someone who is really thinking about you and not able to let you go. Also, old school, old fashioned thinking takes dating seriously, takes things slow. So you're dealing with someone who typically takes things slow and you may have discounted it as someone who just wasn't interested. And spirit is saying, no, they're really interested. They're really seriously thinking about how they're going to uh, invite you out on this date. And also they're wanting to travel with you. This person sees you as someone who deserves the best and they're wanting to uh, take you on an extravagant uh, vacation, spirit is saying. Um, also, phone call. You're going to get a phone call. This person is going to reach out to you and they're going to express their interest. Spirit is saying they may come in um, very lighthearted, um, but there is a lot more behind the scenes than you think. Um, also, plastic. They were in a connection that was fake and phony and now they see that you are someone that they can have a real deep connection with the relationship that they had previously was surface level um and they felt like it wasn't a real connection and they see something real in you something that they feel that they can have that will be very beneficial also they said that there's an inner knowing um about this connection you may felt like there there was something more to this situation as well and spirit is saying they definitely at this point know that there's more to the situation also chaser this person is possibly going to chase you because they're not going to want to let you go and at the bottom of the deck this person is single they are available um this is someone who wants to try to pursue more with you show me more for the cancer collective this is a beautiful reading this is a very beautiful reading you guys don't even see this happening um also freedom this person is now free from the past situation. Spirit is saying, again, emphasizing that this person is single. You may have thought that this person was in a connection and they very well may have been when they met you, but Spirit is saying they are now free. They have released this surface level relationship. They're gonna communicate. I have phone call and communication. It's happening for you guys. Also, young female, if you are a masculine, and if you are same sex, then this is a young female, possibly with red hair. If they don't have red hair, then they are younger than you. Um, also, triangle. There was a triangle um, that this person was a part of in their past relationship, a crowded situation, which is why they freed themselves from it. Also, money. Uh, money flow is coming in. There's going to be good wealth and financial aspects if you enter into the relationship with this person and younger male. So if you are feminine energy and you date men, then there's a younger male. So whoever my cancer collective is 
um, embarking it is going to be a person that is younger than you. And some of you guys are like, I don't want to date anybody younger than me, but that's where you're going to get the happiness, the freedom. As long as they're mature and as long as they're solid, stable, and grounded, I think you should give this person a chance. And yeah, mature woman or mature man, that means you're much older than this person. This is a beautiful reading, Cancer. You guys deserve this. This is someone who is very playful, someone who's very energetic, someone who loves your company, who wants to show you the better parts of life and treat you um, in that way. So this is what I have for you, Cancer Collective. Grab hold to this. Embrace it. Don't discount a young person if they meet if you meet them in the grocery store or at the gas station. Embrace it because it's going to be something that's going to be very, very beautiful. Take care, guys. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one.